All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome, it's Andrew Brews. Five historic decks, five modern decks, the Lord of the Rings, one ring to rule them all, of course, and had a bunch of awesome decks so far. This is our fourth deck uh, we will be doing on YouTube. We'll be alternating uh, historic modern, historic modern, but doing all modern, historic decks on stream today, obviously, and then modern decks on stream tomorrow. Please take a second, like the video if you can. Obviously, it helps me out a ton. Please do it. It's super easy to do. It helps out your content creators that you really, really like. Get those YouTube, uh, those YouTube juices flowing. Ooh. Like the video. Please. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, uh, so we are building a Boros Legend deck based around Merry, Esquire of Rohan, one of my sleeper cards from the format. Merry is a Boros 2 drop with haste, so 2 2, two, 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 two haste for 2 is obviously fine. The equipment text, text don't read that text. That's like a, that's a that's your red herring text, right? So you see that and you go, oh, this card's terrible. It's an equipment card. It's not. If you attack with Mary and another legendary creature, draw a card. So, legend on one, Mary on two, attack, draw a card. That's insane. Uh, also, you can go legend on one, it dies. Mary on two, Haster on turn three, draw a card. Also insane. So. Mary is the real deal. Nagus card's awesome. And uh, I got a fill your deck with Legends, obviously, which we have done here. Um, the benefits for playing Legends are playing Mox Amber, which is obviously a very, very powerful card, if you can get it to work, which is tough. Flower in the White Tree. I call this card a trap card in my set review. We're going to try it out. I think this card is probably good enough for Historic, not for Modern, obviously. But I think for Historic, this card is pretty interesting. I had one initially. We're trying out two. We're going to see how it plays. Um... Then we also have, uh, for Legend Payoffs, perhaps the best one here is Urza's Ruinous Blast. This card's Busto. Five minutes for a sorcery. It's a legendary sorcery. Must control Legend to cast it. Exile all non-land permanents that aren't legendary. This is literally just a one-sided, like, exile your entire board. Uh, just a phenomenally powerful card. Playing two main, one board, and one of the real uh, real draws to the deck. We also see um, Lelia Blader Forge here. Just a phenomenally powerful card. Uh, our one drops Frodo, Isamaru, and Skrell. But unfortunately, I'm building a modern version of his deck also. It has Ragavan and uh, Kithian. These cards are a little worse than those cards, but still very, very good. They're all totally reasonable. Uh, Frodo and Isamaru and Skrell. We got Captain Everhart here, a pretty cool alchemy card. One, two, double strike for two. Plays well with the flowering, obviously. And it also makes it so all the cards you draw cost one less when you draw them, and all the cards your opponents draw cost one more. Good against combo decks, just a fine card in general. All trying out Reprieves. A bunch of new cards here. The White Remand in our aggressive deck seems awesome. Uh, we're going to use our Mox, Amber Mana, and so on and so forth. Uh, we got Karizev. We got Squee. Gideon Blackblade. Adeline. You kind of get the idea here. Nothing too crazy. We have Winona, which is nerfed in Historic, but still gets one trigger. Not on its, oh, it's capped to one trigger, but still very, very good. Playing a bunch of humans and non-humans. And then Eowyn. Fearless Knight is a pretty awesome uh, sneaky card as well. Also kind of a sleeper for me. 4 mana 4, a 3, 4 haste, which is like fine. And when it ETBs, you exile a creature an opponent controls with greater power than Eowyn, and you, all of your legends gain protection from those colors until end of turn. So this just kills bigger things, super awesome, and uh, pretty curve topper, and then phenomenal off Winota, which is great too. So mana base is great with positive heroes and all the good dual lands, uh, a couple of Ganjos, Minas Tirith, if you get the idea. Sideboard has some Thalias in it for combo decks, Lorans for artifacts, you get the idea. Redain, Hazard, nothing crazy here. But looks really fun. I'm stoked to play it. Let's get right to the games. Uh, brought to you by Dressmith. In the search for the ultimate weapon, knowledge is power. Introducing Draftsmith, your new secret weapon for Magic the Gathering Arena Limited Mode. Draftsmith helps you pick the perfect card every time by providing an in-depth rating for each card. These ratings adapt based on the cards you've already chosen making sure you always stay one step ahead of the competition. After the draft is done, Draftsmith recommends the optimal deck based on the cards you have chosen. No more, win more. Download Draftsmith today from untap.gg. You'll be seeing a lot of Draftsmith, obviously, on Bronze to Mythic, which is already going up on YouTube, and then I'll be doing more of that live on stream on Friday. So Bronze to Mythic and 10 New Brewers both coming out. So much stuff happening. Who do you think you are? I am. That's right. Content explosion. Opponent is Mulligan. We're going to Mulligan also here. One land. Not going to work. Mulligan into pretty good hand. We have Isamaru into Mary. So, unfortunately, we're on the draw. So, it's a little harder to make that work there. But we have Flower in the White Tree. One Samwise the Stout Hearted for a little extra oomph. Going to keep six here. We're going to have a land here, I think. 
I should keep the uh, keep the lands in the two drops. Black Cleave Cliffs, Inquisition of Kozilek. Not what we want to see when you mulligan, unfortunately, but sure. Take Mary here, I can assume. Might take Flowering, I guess. We'll see what happens, but... I think Mary's our best card. Courage, Mary. Courage for our friends. Captain Eberhardt. Eberhardt does play very well with uh, with Flowering the White Tree. Uh, so does the uh, Kari's Dev, so that's kind of cool. Is Amara's dead? We got Reprieve. Here's a Ganjo. Fire up the old Everheart and just say go. Could have played Flowering first, but Slime Foot and Squee. So, whenever this enters the battlefield or attacks, make a Spapperling token. And then if it's in your graveyard, you can pay four, return Slime Foot and another creature by sacking a Spapperling. Sure. So, we can play Flowering here. An attack for a bunch of double strike damage. That works, I think. Here's the white tree. Here's our three, the double strike, ward one. We have no good blocks here. We get to attack and make a slapperling, though, so we're kind of in trouble here, honestly, a little bit. We're stuck on two lands, not doing too much. If they attack, then I get to attack back with Mary. That'd be awesome, but... They also might want Slimefoot in the graveyard, but they have nothing to reanimate right now, so it's not too bad. All the travel and events, so I think I'll be Bronze Mythic for ladder sets. Yeah, I have all of next week to do Bronze Mythic, so. Take six. Say go. Old Captain Eberhart. My favorite Lord of the Rings character. Here comes Squee. Makes token. They say go here. I get to marry. I'll be very, very happy. Thought sees again down to eight life. All right. We got Samwise, Reprieve, Mary. We take the Mary here. I have Reprieve or Samwise. They have a lot of blocks though, so. Chat, come hang out with me. Draw Sacred Foundry. All right. Well, unfortunately, they have infinite blockers for my poor captain here. But. Place tapped. They go. Reprieve for Gigantha, I guess. Both uh, both decks not really doing their thing. Obviously, both players mulliganed. They cast a few discard spells, so. Uh, I mean, Samwise could flash in and block this, but I don't want this in the graveyard, I don't think, so. They're going to cast a Thoughtseize. Alright. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Sure. Lands have to go. Do I just fire up Samwise? Samwise the Stout. It actually won't tempt me because there's no creatures in the graveyard. It'd be a 4-2 attack. Yeah, I just play Sam, whatever, sure. I want to hear more about Sam. Oh, it does tempt you. Wait. Oh, up to one target. I'm sorry. I thought I, ha I, thought I had to have a target. All right, so our ring bearer is going to be... Um... I guess Captain Everhart, because if they play a 4-4 or whatever, I can still attack through it. Sure. Captain Everhart. Oh! Oh, it's Lady Helix! Oh, my God! Don't tempt me for Mary! Draw a card. Woo! Oh, it's Lady Helix! Oh, my God! Should I keep hitting it? Oh, it's Not going to stop. All right, so Slimefoot, probably some sort of reanimation stuff. Don't really have any Graveyard 8 in our deck. We do have the Eowins, which is pretty cool. Uh, Ruinous Blast is also interesting. They weren't dead, but our, our board was pretty good there. So we're going to uh, we're gonna pull out Gideon here, I think. It's more for like the control -y decks. Uh, Reprieve is also... doesn't seem great against them, honestly. I want this Eowyn. Um, Thalia, no. Reprieve, not really. Their key their key thing they do is like put Slimefoot in the graveyard and reanimate uh, Atraxa probably, which I can't counter anyway, so. Um, 
Port of a Hole, Declaration in Stone, Redain, Ruinous Splat. I think this is fine. I'll just do this. No Barmir? Nah, Barmir is just like not very exciting in Historic. Barmir is very exciting in Modern, where the uh, they can't play a card that costs no mana. Text is super relevant, but in Historic, it's not very relevant at all. It's just like a bad Selfless Spirit, so. No Bormirs. Alright, we've got Frodo, Isamaru, and Winona. We can keep this. Hand is not great, but it's fine. No one drop. Alright, so Vantage Frodo, go. Frodo, no! Winona number two. Alright. Here's Isamaru. Need some cheaper creatures here, please. Like draw Lelia or a Squee next turn. Dub Fatal Push. There's Slimefoot. All right, so they're doing their thing. Uh, we are not. We are drawing very, very badly, unfortunately. So we've got five lands, two Winonas, and a Ronus Blast. The Blast doesn't even kill the Slimefoot and Squee. Here's Mox Amber. Gross. Naked Winona. Sega. Not very happy right now, honestly. Uh, so they want Slimefoot in the graveyard. Alright, sure. A fiery impulse. Uh, yeah, that that worked. All right, so we draw another freaking land. Uh, here's another Winona. Here's an inspiring advantage. So you go. Remember cool animations. Raise your hand, Chad, if you're mad that there's no cool animations in uh, in this set. Lord of the Rings like really needed it, you know. All right, whatever. I mean, we're dying. So the fiery impulse here. A rage, sure. Yeah, so. Pretty awful game, just like just drawing a bunch of lands and they have more speeds, sure. There's Lelia, but I think it's a little too late for that, unfortunately. Lelia. Attack. Hit something good. Screlv. Block with Slimefoot. They don't have much left, I guess, but neither do we, so. I mean, we can like. You know, fire off the Runus Blast next turn, but do we have uh, any reason to hold this land? Not really. Just so go. So they got Slimefoot. They can return both. Like, all right, they have Crucius now too. That's bad. Too many legends for Runus Blast, right? Maybe I should just pour this card out. Lelia again. That's not bad. Uh, okay. Lelia. Not enough mana for a Ruinous Blast. Ruinous Blast hits everything but Crucius. That also means they have no Sapperlings for this, which is kind of cool, too. Okay. Just gonna Blast and say go. Then we'll Lelia next turn. So I started blasting. Down to six. They have no sapper links for the, the rebuys anymore. Yeah, they, they have a Trax on their hand because they discarded and got a, got a bigger card, but now they can't do that. So here's a Harvester. But no sapper and they can't reanimate. Discard a Traxa. Another Mox Amber. Killing me. Here's Lelia. Got to attack and draw something really good here. Don't think we have any outs, honestly, but sure. Lelia, attack, exile. Karizev. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Alright. Tough game. That's fine. Go to game three. Now we're in the play. Um, Ruinous Blast is kind of weird because it's like kind of good but kind of bad. Um, Dahlia Reprieve, Declaration Stone. Uh, 
Old Krushi is pretty good, too. I'm just going to leave it, I think. You don't have to get him that play. Maybe just ship the A1. If they, if they attract, it's a pretty bad person anyway, so let's try this. Mary. I will take the ring to Mordor. On the play. We got Skrelv, Eberhart, Winona, Frodo. It's not bad, we can keep this. It's not great, but we need to draw a land or two, but we got the old Winona. Skrelv on one's nice too. Yeah, ideally they go like Fatal Push and kill this, so we should go Frodo plus Skrelv again. Love it. Huh. Do we flower before we play our creatures? I think we, let's try this. Let's, let's try and play this, see what happens. So, flowering the white tree. Everything has ward now and also has a big boost. They play harvester, sure. We draw land, we can go land. I think I like Frodo Skrelv, set up for Winona. Uh, Eberhart. Nah, let's play Eberhart. Skrelv. Yeah, sure. Try and get Skrelv active. Um, so you have three twos with Ward. Winona next turn for Skrelv. They play a Mutavolt. And they're going to abrade the Eberhart and pay the one. Sure, that's fun. They can't afford to kill the Skrelv with the Harvester. Let's draw land here, please. Come on. Draw land. No land. All right, here's Frodo. Frodo Baggins. I'm just going to flip it now. Pay some life. We have a 4-4 lifelinking Ward 1 Frodo with a Might and Play to protect it. It's pretty good. We should just draw land. Aragorn planted the new tree in the court by the fountain, and swiftly and gladly it began to grow. So they're going to use the Harvester on the Skrelf, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to use the Skrelf. They have a way to also kill Frodo. They have Crucius. Oh, land, 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 come on. Give me a land. Give me that land. Come on, land. Damn it. Just two Frodo's. Alright, we're gonna attack anyway. Um, deal four, gain four. Come on! You had first Frodo, yes. What about second Frodo? Harvester number two? That's not good. Alright, please draw land. Like, please. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Go nuts. Um, just four drop city over here. Land, 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 land. Don't draw inspire advantage though. Untap land. Specifications. I'm um, black mana for Frodo. We just, we, just, we just want a one drop. You know, we just want legendary one drops really bad, so. Discarding a land. Getting a spell. Alright, here we go. Come on, land! <laughs> Is that the worst draw on the deck? That's gotta be the worst draw on the deck, right? There's no way it's a worse draw than that. Alright. Now they can use the, the Harvester to kill my Frodo, too. This is ridiculous. I'm just going to attack, I guess. Oh, my God. Come on. We were crushing so far. We lost two. Oh, they're going to give me their, their uh, Crucius, actually? Sure. We were crushing until uh, we played the Tom Bombadil deck. Wicked's that new sub. What's anyway from? Welcome. All right. So, say go. One might be the, the, might, the right number for this card, for sure. Take three. We have plenty of time here, like. Slime foot and squeeze, sure. He's tomorrow. Alright. Oh, 
Harvester kills Izumaru. They know I have Winona, so they're, they want to keep my board clear, obviously. Uh, yeah. No! No! Oh, we could have drawn any worse this game. I'm pretty sure we couldn't have. All right. Um, Pony must have a kill spell in their hand, too, because they didn't kill the Isamar, obviously. Ugh. Old legendary tribal, you know? Please kill my dog. Jim's a monster. Alright. And here you go. Where's the mirror box? You need it. So, they kill the one Isamaru. They're in a sack of blood. So now, this is Isamaru's gonna live? Okay. Slime foot in the graveyard. The fungus goblin attacking. Sure, no blocks. I can't imagine we have a chance this game, right? There's just no way. They're going to sweep back Crucius. All right, sure. That's far too good. Alright. You still can't draw lands. Uh, Alright, here's Frodo. Say go. So we have a 4 4 lifelink if we uh, really want it. I we should have lost this game like four turns ago, so I guess we're still in it, I suppose. But. Alright, I will attempt to use Frodo. Level it up to a lifelinker. Correct. Crucius is, is too good. Uh, they need to curate Historic better for sure. They're going to besage you my tree? They're going to tree my tree? Well, I found my land. Um, now Frodo's dead and I gain some life. I mean, now I have a, 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 a tree to use, I guess. And they can Harvester my thing. Shieldred's Assimilator. What is this card? They're going to menace whenever ETBs or attacks. Exile the one card from the graveyard. If a card is exiled, so I make 100 duplicate and do your top 5. So they exiled my... Wait, what now? I missed it. Discarding a land, drawing a spell. I mean, we get to one owner now, but, like, it's not even good anymore, I don't think, so. Um. Unfortunately... Eowyn kills things that have more than... F I guess Eowyn plus uh, Flowering is actually a, a Nambo. That's interesting. Uh, Alright, whatever. Sure. Punona. I, I, I guess I attack. Like, just throw in my Isamaru for a human, hopefully. We're just super dude. We just can't win. I mean, ah, oh, we missed it anyway. Whatever, sure. Alright. Uh, yeah, that was a shitty game. Um... Not not so not so hot there on the old Droskies. Ten new brews. Let's go. <clears throat> Merry plus squee plus reprieve. Alright, so no one drop. We're gonna keep.
Alright, so enter Zapdgo. We have Merry Inter Squee, which still, still draws a card on turn three, which is pretty good. Uh, I have a Reprieve also, which is kind of cool. Hello, opponent. Alright, hey, folks. If you haven't followed the stream at that follow button, of course, watch on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on other platforms too Instagram, TikTok. Uh, lots of fun pictures from, from my trips on Instagram, which is really cool. Mountain Skirt Prospector. Oh, I, I see how it is. Okay. Alright. Uh, sure, that's fine. Uh huh. <sighs> Just kidding. Here's Mary. Mary. This Celtic port is particularly good. Time for two. We got a uh, mobile goblin ga goblin gamer here. Take two. We have a goblin of our own next turn in Squee. We'll draw a card off Mary. We'll see what they do, though. Nothing. Just nothing. Alright. We're going for it. Here's Squee. Squee! And attack step. Draw a card. Make a goblin. Flowering. Pretty good here. Next turn we have Flowering and Reprieve. That's pretty awesome, actually. Flowering is a bit too bad, honestly. I think playing one or two is reasonable. Goblin Chieftain is here. They have two two twos, and they're going to attack. <clears throat> that's very aggressive, my friend. I don't know if that's going to work out for you. Being totally honest here, we draw Ganjo, too. Sick. Flower in the White Tree. Attack for a bunch. So many. Good lord. Mega Goblin, draw a card. This is an attack for 12. Ruinous Blast, also busted here. Uh, they're just almost dead. Not quite dead, but almost dead. Say go with your Reprieve up, and they're at one. I think we're, I think we're good here, folks. The White Remand. Also Ruinous Blast. They made me wait. They can wait for a drop. Oh, back to the end. <laughs> deck was currently on the overlay, as always. Article goes up uh, this Friday. I think I'm going to do all the historic decks this Friday, all the modern decks next Friday for the article. But I'll be playing the modern decks tomorrow on stream. All right, so opponent's playing Gooblins. We're going to want um, another Ruinous Blast. I would say no Eowins here. Uh, no Gideon. I think I want the fourth Reprieve. I think I want maybe a few Portable Holes. Maybe shave one of these uh, Flowerings. This seems fun. I just want a little bit of removal just to kind of like keep them off the off balance a little bit, so... Uh, opponent mulligans fast. We have one drop, two drop. There's like two goblins in the Lord of the Rings set, and they're pretty bad. There's like a, a rare that looks appealing in Moria Marauder, but it's pretty bad. It's not very good at all, I don't think. I don't, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think I'll see playing anything. That's a few too many reprieves, honestly. Uh, maybe four too many. We're to control that game. We want to have that one key reprieve on that one key turn, not like reprieve everything. So maybe four too many. Prospector number two. Okay. Yeah, an Orcish Bowmaster should be a freaking goblin, right? Come on. Let's get real here. All right, they missed a land drop. Um, I'm going to hold up a brief. 
There's like a chance they stack a goblin to cast a spell anyway. It missed just like kept a one lander, so. Shock? I'm shocked. Uh alright, yeah, I guess. <laughs> sure. There are a lot of uh a lot of better cards than shock in the format. Uh, better shocks than shock. Sure. Here's Lelia. Yeah. They have shock again? Shock again? Inconceivable. Do it. All right, there it is. There for our opponent. Dedicated to the cause. Personally, I'm shocked. Land go. Wow. All right, Karzev go. Nice mountain art. Far over the misty mountains are. Alright, so we have reprieve for days. Um, we've got Skrelv, Mox Amber. Yeah, I mean, sure. Coming in. Ragavan in historic, just not the way, uh, not that way, you know. There are 15. Uh, again, a few too many reprieves here. Reprieves. Do it again. Waka waka. Ah, our hero returned. Sure. All right. Not a very exciting match, but uh, we'll take the W, I guess. Keyer Mulligan, folks. What do you think? Counter magic being sliced into white's part of the color pie. Manatite, reprieve. What do you think? Keep or mulligan? Uh, hands painful, but good. We're going to keep. We have Frodo into probably the tree. I like it. I'm about it. I think that, um, you know, there should be a secondary color for abilities, and there was no secondary counter color. I guess Man Manatite, you know, notwithstanding, but... Oh, great. It should never be counter target spell, but if it's a taxing effect or a bouncing effect, something like that, I think it's fine. Freshly brewed. Four mana tithe, four prey, four watering at bird. Just like blue, like, I mean, white, black control or something like that with the white, white counter spells. Throw the baggins. Battlefield Forge again? Oh, yeah. Taking the pain. Ouchies. Give me the ouchies. Drawing says you win worlds, you get to make a card. What effect are you leaning towards? Some sort of goblin. I don't know. Honestly. Not a thing I think about. If I win worlds, I'll, you know, figure that out later. Joiner of Forces. Alright, so Eowyn not very good here either. Maybe Eowyn's more of a sideboard card, honestly. Triple Forge. We want to resolve Gideon, obviously. That's a really big, really big one here. Um, I think I want to just pump Frodo here. I don't want to cast Gideon into a million different kinds of four spike effects. I don't know. Because we have the win. I would just do it, I guess. We have one on our next turn. We draw land. So it's lander spell next turn. So here's Gideon. Whatever. What do you got? You know? If Eomir in the deck? We don't, there's no Eomir. Maybe there should be. They have their own reprieve. Sure. So you're pretty even like in these in these blue decks is kind of weird because like obviously there is no remand but like you know that's great forge 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 vantage uh, um love it attack here comes Frodo take three Gideon this is kind of the problem with the tree where like we're not really going wide so we just played a two drop or whatever like we get this we get the same effect here you know but 
Counter Gideon? Sure, that's fine. Honestly. We also might get to a spot now where you can reprieve your own spells. Probably one of my favorite things to do remand is when it gets control deck, you play your own spell, they go to counter it, and you're private or remand it. So you get a two for one and it's good to keep your spell, which is awesome. Um I'm gonna play Eo in here as a haster and hold Winona. Yeah. This is a, a, a reactive turn for sure, I think, so. Play Eo and make them use it. Also, if you draw a lamb, you can go Winona plus Reprieve. Hi! Hi there, hello. Aww. Just cheering you on. Hi! Come to work. He already came to work all weekend. I was at Rick Command Fest. Yeah, he was He's, working. He was helping him signing booth. He was working it. Alright, so play land, say go. Who wants to steer Cassian help me help me command fest? Say hi! Say hi! Hi Cassian. Here. Here's Cassian helping me at the booth. I'm about to show you the He's internet. Like Cassian. Helping you. you were helping me. There he is. Help me helping me at the uh, the booth. In the oh, no. search for the oh, ultimate weapon, it. knowledge oh, is power. No, no, no. Oh, Introduce Cassian, what'd you do? That was, that, was he that was him. That was him. That was him. That was that was that was that was him. He's like, oh, was it? <laughs> All right, so the Helix, we deal five and say go. They miss a land drop. So they have five spells in their hand. Attack for five. Eowyn's also a human, so no no trigger on the Monona. Can't have the microphone. Nope. No, you can't have the microphone. Little monster. No Emperor here at the Ward 1. You could Emperor just with an Endwall. Sure. They're going to march it by pitching a card. Uh, ward 1, resolve. So you could, like, resolve Winona here. Um, unfortunately, the monkey does not trigger the attack for Winona because it comes in already attacking. Um, they're at 9. This attacks for 3, for 6. Yeah, let's do this. We'll just play cards I haven't played. I'll, I'll reprieve up. Why not reprieve the march? I just... I mean, like, I don't know. It just gets it for a bunch. I don't, I mean, yeah, she mentioned it, but I don't know. But here's iteration. That's fine. The tree is okay. Definitely not more of like a one of, maybe a two of. They did exile. I, mean, I, I could have maybe, maybe reprieve there. That's fair. Um, if they untap it, it's something good, though. It's kind of like, eh. So here's a land. Oh, my God. Oh, let's do it. Adeline. Adeline. So we attack now for a monkey, a token, and a pirate walking to a bar. This is for lethal? 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 Okay. He did it. Blouses. He did it. All right. So, and, and the deck is built around the tree. Obviously, we're playing like a double striker, playing some token makers. That is definitely kind of the idea. But all right. So they're playing uh, control. We're going to want the extra Gideon, the Thalias, the Redanes. Uh, the Reprieve, and then dump the Eowins, dump the Ruinous Blasts, um, what do you think, Cassie? What, what, what should I cut here? Space bar. What card stinks? You should keep one tree. Drawing both trees seems terrible. And maybe a Skrelv. No, I gotta kill Skrelv. They have, like, rats and stuff, too. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a scrolf. Alright, and then we'll rock this. Rock, rock in it. Rock, rock in it. Rock, rock in it. We got this. We got this one good. Alright. No okay, one drop. We do have a mox. We have no one drop. I'm just gonna keep them. Alright, Cassie, can't the microphone, bud. Alright. There you go. You Back to my I got Back to my Thank you. Okay, bye. All right, so um, we'll just play land go here. We have Mary on two. Mox, not great at a one drop, obviously, unfortunately, but it's fine. They probably have a remand. No one drop here is pretty killer. Uh, I think we... Karizev. Alright. 
But Fox, there you go. Yeah, I brought the whole family to Orlando. We did Universal for two days. It was great. It was a very, very fun trip. Again, pictures on the Instagram. Pictures all over uh, the Instagram and stuff. Check it out on Twitter. Land number three. Sego. We draw Thalia. Divine Purge hits the Mox, too, which is kind of crappy, but... Um, we can't play Gideon here, because we drew a Red Source or Adeline. If we played the Mary, we could have, but like we need to be, be very careful here about our uh, getting countered. So... I don't hate Lelia here into Thalia plus Mary. Like, let, let them counter this, and then we will uh, play Thalia Mary for draw land. Maybe Party Universal was uh, was uh, the Velocicoaster. The coaster. It was awesome. Best coaster I've ever been on. Velocicoaster. coaster. Attack. Do some damage. There you go. Want to draw land really bad. I want to go Thalia into Mary. Hands juiced. Shock and Wandering Emperor. Alright. Please draw a Lando. Alright, so Thalia. This is great, actually. Thalia, Mary, attack the Emperor. Love it. Pow! Let's go. Land four. Um, now we have our draw off Mary. We get to attack. We could play Adeline first, but I think I want to play Gideon to play around a Wrath. So I'll just shock us in. Let's stack. Send it. They're going to fry the Thalia, not the Mary. So I can fire up the plaza here, save the Thalia, and also get to draw a card. I'm in for that. Courage, Mary! They have a gun on holy heat or something, or they can't they have Thalia in play, so. That's that lives. Attack for four. Draw a card. Mary's so good. I think Mary's phenomenal. And we just say go. Um we have a planeswalker, some Adelines. They wrath, we have a good good backup plan, which is nice. Obviously Gideon Thalia is a little awkward, but. By Thalia's on the board. Reprieve Thalia also awkward, but again, that's why they're on the board, so um, we're going to start by attacking. Move to combat. If I can draw a card and they'll let me, they're going to Snapcaster Mage. Alright, so Snapcaster is pretty good here. If they Snapcaster, you can Reprieve. I guess they would, uh, they can just block the Mary then. Let's still draw though. Here's Fry. Now, if I, rep this is Flashback, so if I Reprieve the Fry, it goes away forever. And this is pretty cool because this would not work with Remand. It does work with this. I have a second Thalia in my hand, though. So maybe I should just, like, chill. Let this happen, I think. Um, we could play Gideon or Adeline. Um, if I, if I, I also can't... I trade Mary for Snapcaster Mage. It's kind of fine. Draw a card, too. Yeah. If I had some other good play to make... I'm more interested in this. We're in combat. This is... F mm -hmm. Adeline, reprieve. Alright, I'm gonna reprieve this. Alright, bounce this. We'll draw a card. We'll see what we draw. We might attack or might not attack. Draw another reprieve. So now I can attack and trade Mary for Snapcaster and draw a card. Yeah, that's too bad. That's fine. I have four Marys. We draw a Ganjo. Oh, it's my big helix! Oh my god! Get out of here! Get off my plane! Ouch! I know what it is you saw. Your turn. Little light on Lance, but gotten some good value off them also. So here's the Emperor. I'm going to end it. Exile Mary. Mary up the top, please. Well Where's Gan? Oh! <laughs> Bingo! Right. I don't even have... Wow. It's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. I don't even got... I, I don't even have words. Here's Mary! He's back! Rigged! You here. You here. Draw another card. Mary's so good. All right. Do I cast the Skrull? I don't think so. Uh, I think Wrath is the best way out right now, so... They actually have a, a hall. 
Ah, I should, I, should, I should play the scroll, I think. Um, because now I can't really attack into the into the hall. Let's play land. Let's pay two life. Let's play Gideon. Never didn't have it. What's up, Smug Smuggler? Make them counter this if they have a, a counter spell. They do, and now I can attack into, into the, uh, the hall. Send it! Oh, no. Lightning Helix! Alright, they're out. They got nothing left. So there you go. So we have double Adeline, Thalia Remand, and Skrelv. They have the hall, but I have Skrelv to get through it. All right, so we are going to play... I can't Adeline and Reprive. That kind of sucks. Reprieve? I keep saying Reprive. Uh, yeah, play this. Try to play this. We're going to... Play Vantage. Move to combat. Send Thalia. They fire up the hall. We'll just scroll the Thalia. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! They draw a lot of those. Uh, that's fine. Sure. So, Helix to Skrelv. Uh, no effects. And they are dead on board. Ah, actually, no, I'm not saying they did all, but they're close to dead on board. 12. Some huge, some huge stuff here. Bingo. All right. I have a good word. I, I don't even. I will take the ring to Moldor. I have. I, 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 yeah, okay, sure. Flower of the White Tree, now you're dead. Attack step. Everything. And they can fire up the hall and block. Trade with Adeline or block the Thalia. I should play a new Thalia or have a reprive up. Oh, shit, I can't do math. That's only six. Whatever. Uh, there you go. It's four. Still dead on board. Reprive up. Here we go. Here we go. Man, we draw a lot of these. Uh, Adeline again. How about some more token business? Game. Blouses. Love it. Check out the stats over here on untap.gg. Went two and one. And I think Mary Esquire of Rohan is like sneakily one of the best cards in the, in the uh, entire set, honestly. I think this card is awesome. It was phenomenal here. I can't wait to try it in modern uh, with Ragavan and Kithian. And then in modern, it can help uh, facilitate your furies and solitudes by giving you more cards, which is kind of cool also. Uh... Wasn't super impressed with uh, with Eowyn. Uh, probably more of a sideboard card, honestly. It seems very good if it's good, but like it could easily just not be good a lot of the time. But it was pretty cool. Um, Love Lately, obviously, it's really, really good. Uh, the tree is pretty good. I think two trees is fine. I think like one or two would not want to play more than two of his card. Definitely major, mega, mega diminishing returns. But all in all, deck is sweet. There you go, Merry Legends. Deck four or five. We got one left for Historic and then five modern decks as well. Let's rock and roll. Ten new Bruce. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. Twitch folks, don't go nowhere.